Say, it's your boy. It's your boy. King from Cute. King from Cute. And I want to. I want to. Welcome you. I welcome you. To my mommy's channel. To mommy's channel. Please. Please. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. And return again. And return again. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Okay, once we have our image, we will be enlarging. We want to make sure this image is the size that we need it to be. So I want my image to be a 15 by 15. And using the width and the height measurements up here, that's how we're going to get our image the size we need it to be. I want to also make this smaller so that we can see it. And I want to move it off of the white paper so that it's clear. So the next thing you want to do is draw a rectangle the size of the sheet of paper inside of your printer. Mine is an 8 by 11 so I'm just going to use the red outline in this air box in order to make the dimensions of my sheet of paper. And I want to click this arrow so that we can come out of this command. And once again, I like to move it off the white so I can see what I'm doing. We need to make four boxes. We're going to make four boxes by making sure this rectangle is highlighted. Going to edit, copy, and then you want to paste three times so that we can get the box four times. Perfect. So the next thing we want to do is move our rectangles to our image and we're going to cut this image in fours. So wherever we want to cut the image, that's where we will place our boxes. I like to make sure that there is a little bit of gray area on the outside so we have some room to play with when we're placing our image to be cut or printed so you have to make sure that the boxes are perfectly aligned with each other so the line must be overlapping perfectly so that when this image is split into four different sections when we go to tape the image together in order to put it on whatever we're putting our sublimation image on, it's perfectly able to be paired. So that's very important when you are placing these boxes on your image. If you mess this part up, you mess the whole project up. So be very, very careful. There we go. So now I want to highlight this entire project. And because I have four different images or parts of the picture I have to print, I want to copy this image and paste it three more times so that I have the image four times. So paste. Uh oh. I didn't press copy. So, highlight, edit, copy, then paste four times. And we want to move them over so that we can see each image. Paste. Paste. So, here are our four images. Now, I'm going to make this a little smaller so we can see everything. So now what we want to do is using the shift command, you must press shift when you are holding the part of the image that you are ready to crop. So I am pressing my shift command and I am clicking on this corner of the photo and then I want to click the red box that is aligned with this photo and then I want to use our 
crop command so it's going to be inside of this square this rectangle and circle and I want to go to crop so now we only have this part of the image and I'm not sure oh okay sorry and now we want to delete these three boxes and we want to do that for each one remember to hold the shift whatever box you're ready to crop click that corner and the top of that red box and crop So now we can go ahead and delete all these red boxes. So now if you were to put the image back together, it is perfectly aligned okay and this is just my vision board from 2021 last year I just picked a random picture so now what we want to do is place each image section inside of the box that reads where we will print from. So once I put this image inside of this box and press print, only this will print. And then you wanna do that for all four pieces. Do, 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 do. And then once the image prints out, you tape it together.